mitochondria, the key to preventing cancer and improving overall health. Mitochondria are organelles found in every cell of the human body, often referred to as the powerhouses of the cell. They are responsible for producing energy in the form of ATP through a process called cellular respiration. Mitochondria play a crucial role in maintaining cellular health and are essential for the proper functioning of organs and tissues throughout the body. Recent research has shown that mitochondrial dysfunction can contribute to the development of chronic diseases, including cancer. When mitochondria become damaged, it can lead to changes in cell behavior and a reliance on anaerobic metabolism, which is seen in cancer cells Warburg effect. Intriguingly, diabetics, particularly those on insulin, are more susceptible to developing cancer. Furthermore, the type of fats consumed in our diets can influence cancer development, with omega-6 fats like soybean or corn oil contributing to its progression, while saturated fats like coconut oil and palm oil do not. Understanding the role of mitochondria in health and disease is crucial for developing effective prevention and treatment strategies. By optimizing fat intake and correcting insulin resistance, individuals can not only promote weight loss, but also improve their overall well-being. Supporting mitochondrial health through measures like a ketogenic diet, exercise, stress reduction, and adequate sleep can help prevent and treat chronic diseases, including cancer. Key takeaways. Mitochondria are essential for producing energy in the form of APP and play a crucial role in maintaining cellular health. Mitochondrial dysfunction can contribute to the development of chronic diseases, including cancer, with diabetics being more susceptible to developing cancer. Supporting mitochondrial health through measures like a ketogenic diet, exercise, stress reduction, and adequate sleep can help prevent and treat chronic diseases, including cancer. Understanding mitochondria, mitochondria are organelles found in most eukaryotic cells, responsible for energy production through the process of cellular respiration. They are often referred to as the powerhouses of the cell due to their role in generating ATP, the primary energy currency of cells. Mitochondria have a double membrane structure consisting of an outer membrane and an inner membrane. The outer membrane is porous and allows the passage of molecules and ions, while the inner membrane is highly folded, forming structures called cristae. The cristae increase the surface area of the inner membrane, allowing for more efficient energy production. The electron transport chain, a series of enzymes and proteins located in the inner mitochondrial membrane, is responsible for generating AT through oxidative phosphorylation. During this process, electrons are transferred along the chain, creating a proton gradient that drives AT synthesis. Mitochondria also contain their own DNA, known as MRTDN, which is separate from the DNA found in the nucleus of the cell. This MTD encodes for some of the proteins required for energy production and defects in DNA can lead to mitochondrial dysfunction and a range of diseases. Mitochondrial biogenesis, the process of creating new mitochondria, is tightly regulated and can be influenced by factors such as exercise and caloric intake. Mitochondrial dynamics, including processes such as autophagy and mitochondrial fission, are also important for maintaining mitochondrial health and function. In addition to their role in energy production, mitochondria are involved in a variety of cellular processes, including calcium signaling and apoptosis. Dysfunction of mitochondria has been implicated in a range of diseases, including cancer, neurodegenerative disorders, and metabolic disorders. Overall, understanding the structure and function of mitochondria is crucial for understanding cellular metabolism and the role of energy in health and disease. Mitochondria and aging. Mitochondria play a crucial role in energy production, calcium signaling, and cell death regulation. As cells age, mitochondrial function declines, 
leading to a range of age-related diseases, including cancer, neurodegeneration, and cardiovascular disease. One of the primary factors contributing to mitochondrial dysfunction is oxidative stress, which results from an imbalance between reactive oxygen species ROS production and antioxidant defenses. ROS can damage mitochondrial DNA and proteins leading to impaired oxidative phosphorylation and ATP production. Mitochondrial DNA mutations can also accumulate over time, leading to a decline in mitochondrial function and an increase in ROS production. This damage can be exacerbated by inflammation, which can activate the NRP3 inflammasome and lead to mitochondrial outer membrane permeabilization and cell death. Exercise has been shown to promote mitochondrial biogenesis and improve mitochondrial function, reducing the risk of age-related diseases. Additionally, dietary interventions, such as supplementing with L-carnitine or coenzyme Q10, can also support mitochondrial health and function. Mitophagy, the process by which damaged or dysfunctional mitochondria are selectively degraded, is another important mechanism for maintaining mitochondrial health. Dysregulation of mitophagy has been implicated in a range of age-related diseases, including neurodegeneration and cancer. Inflammation and the inflammatory response also play a role in mitochondrial dysfunction and aging. Macrophages can release damage-associated molecular patterns. Damps that activate the innate immune response and lead to sepsis-induced mitochondrial dysfunction. Overall, maintaining healthy mitochondria is essential for preventing age-related diseases and promoting longevity. By supporting mitochondrial function through exercise, dietary interventions, and mitophagy, individuals can improve their overall health and well-being. Mitochondrial dysfunction and cancer. Mitochondrial dysfunction characterized by impaired energy production and increased production of reactive oxygen species is, has been implicated in the development and progression of cancer. Mutations in mitochondrial, DNA, TNA, and alterations in mitochondrial dynamics can lead to changes in cellular metabolism, including a reliance on anaerobic glycolysis, which is commonly seen in cancer cells warped rows, which are generated as a byproduct of oxidative phosphorylation can cause damage to cellular macromolecules, including MTDN, and contribute to genomic instability and mutations. In turn, these mutations can lead to altered mitochondrial function and further increases in ROS production, creating a vicious cycle of damage and dysfunction. Mitochondrial dysfunction can also impair apoptotic signaling, which is necessary for the removal of damaged or abnormal cells. This can allow cancer cells to evade apoptosis and continue to proliferate. Additionally, mitochondrial dysfunction can lead to alterations in cellular metabolism, including the production of inflammatory mediators, which can contribute to the development of chronic inflammation and cancer. Furthermore, mitochondrial dysfunction can impact immune cell function, including T cells and macrophages, which play critical roles in tumor surveillance and elimination. Specifically, mitochondrial dysfunction can impair mitochondrial fission and mitophagy, processes that are necessary for the removal of damaged mitochondria and the maintenance of mitochondrial quality control. As a result, impaired mitochondrial function can lead to altered innate immune responses and increased oxidative stress, which can further contribute to cancer development. Overall, Mitochondrial dysfunction plays a critical role in the development and progression of cancer, and strategies aimed at supporting mitochondrial health, including dietary interventions, exercise, and stress reduction, may be effective in preventing and treating cancer. The role of diet in mitochondrial health. Diet plays a crucial role in maintaining optimal mitochondrial health. Mitochondria require a steady supply of nutrients to produce energy, and a nutrient-poor diet can lead to mitochondrial dysfunction. Polyphenols, found in plant-based foods such as fruits, vegetables, and nuts, have been shown to improve mitochondrial function by increasing mitochondrial biogenesis and reducing oxidative stress. 
Additionally, polyphenols can improve glucose metabolism and reduce inflammation, both of which are important for mitochondrial health. Exercise is another important factor in maintaining mitochondrial health. Regular exercise can increase mitochondrial biogenesis, improve glucose uptake, and reduce inflammation. High-intensity interval training has been shown to be particularly effective in improving mitochondrial function. In terms of macronutrients, a diet high in carbohydrates can lead to mitochondrial dysfunction by promoting excessive glucose metabolism and oxidative stress. On the other hand, a diet high in healthy fats, such as monosaturated and saturated fats found in foods like avocados and coconut oil, can support mitochondrial health by promoting efficient energy production. It is also important to manage insulin levels through dietary interventions, such as fasting mimicking diets, to prevent insulin resistance and promote mitochondrial health. Chronic insulin resistance can lead to mitochondrial dysfunction and ultimately contribute to the development of chronic diseases such as cancer. In summary, a diet rich in polyphenols Healthy fats and low in carbohydrates can promote optimal mitochondrial health. Regular exercise and managing insulin levels through dietary interventions are also important factors in maintaining mitochondrial function and preventing chronic diseases. Prevention and treatment strategies. Mitochondria play a critical role in cellular energy production and metabolism. Damage to these vital organelles can increase the risk of chronic diseases, including cancer. Therefore, strategies aimed at supporting mitochondrial health can help prevent and treat these conditions. One effective approach is through regular exercise, which has been shown to improve mitochondrial function and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. Exercise also helps to reduce inflammation and support immune cell function, which can further enhance overall health. Another important factor is diet. Consuming a diet rich in healthy fats, such as those found in nuts, seeds, and fatty fish, can support mitochondrial biogenesis and function. On the other hand, diets high in processed and refined foods can lead to mitochondrial dysfunction and contribute to chronic disease development. Autophagy, the process by which cells break down and recycle damaged cellular components, is also crucial for maintaining mitochondrial health. This process can be enhanced through dietary interventions such as intermittent fasting or calorie restriction and can help prevent the accumulation of damaged mitochondria. Finally, reducing stress levels and obtaining adequate sleep can also support mitochondrial function and overall health. Chronic stress and lack of sleep can contribute to inflammation and mitochondrial dysfunction, leading to an increased risk of chronic diseases. In conclusion, supporting mitochondrial health through exercise, a healthy diet, autophagy, stress reduction, and adequate sleep can help prevent and treat chronic diseases, including cancer. By prioritizing these strategies, individuals can optimize their cellular powerhouses and improve their overall well-being. Frequently asked questions. What is the role of mitochondria in cellular metabolism? Mitochondria are often referred to as the powerhouses of our cells, as they are responsible for producing the majority of the energy needed for cellular processes through a process called cellular respiration. This process involves the conversion of glucose and oxygen into ATP, the main energy currency of the cell. Mitochondria also play a role in other cellular processes, such as the regulation of calcium levels and the synthesis of certain molecules. Can damaged mitochondria be repaired or regenerated? While some level of mitochondrial damage is inevitable due to normal cellular processes and environmental factors, the body has mechanisms in place to repair or regenerate damaged mitochondria. However, in cases of severe or chronic damage, the ability of the body to repair or regenerate mitochondria may be compromised. Are there any specific foods or supplements that can support mitochondrial health? There are several foods and supplements that have been shown to support mitochondrial health, such as those high in antioxidants, like berries and leafy greens 
and those rich in certain nutrients like kaken and magnesium. However, it is important to note that a balanced diet and healthy lifestyle, habits are the most effective ways to support overall mitochondrial health. How does mitochondrial dysfunction contribute to the development of cancer? Mitochondrial dysfunction can lead to changes in cellular behavior, such as a reliance on anaerobic metabolism, which is seen in cancer cells, Warburg effect. Additionally, damaged mitochondria can lead to an increase in reactive oxygen species, RIAS, which can damage DNA and other cellular components, potentially leading to the development of cancer. Are there any genetic factors that can affect mitochondrial health and increase the risk of cancer? Yes. Certain genetic mutations can affect mitochondrial function and increase the risk of cancer. For example, mutations in the genes responsible for repairing damaged DNA can lead to an accumulation of mutations, potentially increasing the risk of cancer. Why are mitochondria vital to our survival? Mitochondria are vital to our survival because they are responsible for producing the energy needed for all cellular processes. Without functioning mitochondria, cells would not be able to produce the energy needed to carry out their essential functions, leading to cellular dysfunction and ultimately death.